Once again, a massive 6% drop in Bitcoin. But why this might even be a good sign for the market and future moves, we will discuss on today's episode of That Crypto Show. So see you in 20 seconds. Hey, welcome back and once again welcome to our last show for this October has been an incredibly fast month again and I think a lot of stuff has happened so I want to use this video today to do a little bit of a recap a very quick recap of what happened in October how the sentiment is at the moment what could happen in November and once again I want to talk about some strange moves we saw there in Bitcoin on some exchanges yesterday when we saw a sudden price drop of over 5% and why I think this is actually a good sign. So leave us a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already to always stay on top and always stay informed about everything you need to know about trading cryptocurrencies. Um, yeah, and I, I want to go down here, really uh, jump right in into the a uh, five minute chart of Bitcoin and what we can see here once again and we, we just saw this uh, not so long ago when we were talking about flash crashes yesterday again a strange move when we dropped here all the way from 61,000 uh, down to 58,000 and this all within just a, min uh, a couple of minutes so this is a five minute candle and you can see it's like really uh, that was a big, big dump, but followed by uh, people, by investors buying up those uh, supposedly low prices again and then uh, attacking really also the highest prices we've seen so far this week. And uh, so what happened there is might have been again an investor on, on one exchange that dumped, you know, a lot of coins for with a market order onto the market. Some also say this might be some exchanges uh, so to say chasing stop loss orders uh, you know the danger is always if you have too many people in leverage positions just a small uh, change in the price of bitcoin and i define here small something like maybe three or four percent can trigger a cascade of liquidations very really so um nothing out of the ordinary it's always something you know we have to Adapt a little bit to that we have to live off with uh, when it comes to Bitcoin. Fear and greed index now at 70, so that's not too bad. Uh, has calmed down significantly. I think yesterday we were already also at 66 there again. So this is a little bit what I expected. Uh, but to be fair, of course, uh, remember guys, I said back then I would have expected a move around 63,000 US dollars. At the moment, we're around about 61,000. So uh, the sideways movement with a lower side. And if we look at the first half of October, actually the first 20 days of October were insane really since then. Of course, we've cooled off a little bit and with more days uh, to the downside uh, where we do, don't see large uh, moves to the upside, of course, uh, the voices are becoming stronger again concerning that maybe this was it already for this year. I personally don't believe that and I've voiced my opinion about this uh, very, very frequently, um, but it's very normal. So don't get distracted too much from the noise out there. And I want to tell you why I think that this incredible move downwards actually is something very, very good in my opinion, because what we saw is um, was as soon as we entered this area here, which I defined back then, uh, as a area of good support uh, defined by on-chain metrics, we see that there is buying action uh, immediately again. So it seems like we have investors down there really that uh, have either limit orders placed there. Uh, if not, there's immediate buying action. We saw this the other day already again, uh, meaning two days ago uh, when we entered this zone. We saw this also when we had this big crazy uh, flash crash happening bit so this zone here seems to be very, very well supported by 
so-called long-term holders that are not willing to sell their coins at losses that on the contrary are willing to scoop up more coins. And this reflects also what we saw on Wednesday on the on-chain metrics. So if you want to be updated there, I'll leave a link up there for you uh, so you can re-watch this video. Everything I told there still is of course very, very true. Uh, prices like this are, as it seems, used by long-term investors to buy more coins and this should be a good sign. Don't, don't fall for conspiracy theories uh, when you see things like, things like this sadly happen. And by the end of the day, we don't know is this so-called stop-loss phishing by some exchanges out there or is this uh, somebody, you know, that doesn't really know how the market mechanics uh, are, are working and just throwing a lot of Bitcoin there for market prices at the, on the market and then you know, those cannot be sucked up by the order uh, order book that quickly. But really what we see also is that as soon as we enter this zone, we see a lot of buying action again. And I think this is very, very positive. And this makes me positive uh, for what is to come in November again. Maybe a lot of, especially short-term traders, are caught on the wrong side because they think uh, the bull run might be over already. Who knows? Uh, when we look at Ethereum, really amazing chart at the moment. We uh, actually climbed a little bit higher than our previous all-time high already this morning. I as think <laughs> once we really move here maybe to 4,450 uh, something in the whereabouts, we could see a, casc a cascade of buying orders being triggered that very, very quickly uh, will bring us into this area of 5,000 up there. And this could you know, happen very, very quickly. So the strategy here, if you uh, are thinking about jumping on board once we have breached this all-time high, because this usually is a bullying, bullish sign when you are a technical analyst, you, this is something you are looking for then most of the time, you could here again uh, work with a stop buy order that waits until a certain price is reached and then is triggered. But of course also, and I know this is difficult when we see moves like this suddenly, uh, non nonetheless have a stop loss in place also make please sure that you do not over leverage with a move like this if you are leveraged by 1 to 100 even 1 to 150 the chance is like just very very high that this will stop you out of your position and crash your account and ideally it is really that you wake up in the morning if this happens at night uh, in your time zone and that you didn't even re that you don't even realize uh, something happened there uh, again seems also for bitcoin like a good tactic is at the moment to see uh, to have like you know limit price fishing orders if the price moves into uh, into this box here because as I stated defined by on-chain metrics these, this seems to be a great great zone at the moment where a lot of long-term investors still want to buy. All right this is it for this week. I wish you a very very happy weekend. I'll see you guys again on Monday. As always stay safe out there. Leave us a like, subscribe to the channel and take care. Bye bye.